Right. Uh, now left! <laughs> There's a 50 percent chance to get up first time. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely like the best three hours ever and all right lads and lassies welcome back to the youtube and today welcome to a very extremely exciting video and um, so this is chris goodbody he owns big style he's like a big kiteboarder in ireland and i've wanted to try kiteboarding for so so long and today my dreams are coming true <laughs> so the plan is the challenge is see if david Creef can get i'm um, darren he's holding the camera yeah, darren's gonna uh, well. to see if these pro wakeboarders can kiteboard in three hours. That's the challenge. <laughs> to learn how to set up a kite, fly a kite, uh, do everything with a kite, and then stand on a board and cruise. If you can go out and back in three hours, I'll be I'll massively know, impressed. I know. I know. So, <laughs> anyway, apparently this normally takes like 12 hours, but we're saying like, board control, that's not gonna be a worry. The problem's gonna be like, Darren's never sailed. I've sailed like, once but like not really that kind of, i understand like tack and stuff but the wind the, like wakeboarders hate wind covers love wind so <laughs> yeah. well that's it well the um well, we've got about 18 gust and 25 from the south here in uh in rings end in dublin so it's a perfect day to learn uh so there's <laughs> no excuses <laughs> right, sick. we're gonna go get set up and then we'll just film and stuff so. i don't know how easy and hard it's gonna be to film this but darren's gonna learn but he's also gonna try and film a lot of it so yeah that's the plan Alright Dave, welcome to Pearl Bay, right? We got a uh, southerly winds coming in, about 18 knots. Uh, it's pretty perfect. So the first thing we need to take into account when we're coming down to kite surf, the thing I always say to everybody is we've got three things to look at on the beach. We've got wind speed and direction. The other thing we're gonna look at is tides, because yeah. here it, tides are so important, like to a level of importance that it'll change every part of the beach. And then hazards. What are we gonna get blown into? Uh, here, chimneys. Yeah, chimneys. <laughs> A fence, rocky, outcrab, Darren maybe. <laughs> uh, everything's a hazard. So we're going to fly a trainer kite. Okay. Which is going to be, yeah. I've tr I tried flying these a while ago, like about a year ago, and I couldn't do it. Right, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks easy. <laughs> right, so the idea with this is, okay, so we've got our big kites, which are called leading edge inflatables. This one's called a ram arrow, okay? So on this one, you've got, you've got a canopy here, like this, and you've got two lines attached to either side. Yeah. Okay? If you pull on the left, that goes left. If you pull on the right, it goes right. I've got a few wakeboarders before, and they always grab kite bars and flash them in like this. Yeah, because you know that's I mean? yeah. where we want it. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. But in kiting, it's delicate. I want you to do three things. I want you to be able to hold it above your head. Yeah. Right? We call that 12 o'clock. Yeah. And then I want you to be able to hold it out at around 2 o'clock. Yeah. And then I want you to <laughs> and get the feel for the power, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> Straight in, not a bother on. Powerful, powerful, yeah. We got a convert on our hands. So this is two meters. We're going to be flying a 12 meter in a while. It's cool. Though. I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just went. It is so good. Like. I reckon Chris is a good teacher, but it's good. Like so far, so good. Darren's gonna try this one, and then I guess we're moving on. Bit left. So spread those hands a little further, so you get good leverage on them. Darren, full on sending it. <laughs> you want Centurion? That's what you want. I wish I a said centurion. Oh, I would love a centurion, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there we yeah, go. You're innocent smoothies as well. Yeah. Man. Welcome to your leading edge inflatable kite. This is the big, the big boy. Obviously, it's a lot bigger than the other one we had there a few minutes ago. Yeah. But there's also really a lot of key differences in this one, okay? This one has inflatable, well, uh, four inflatable sections, okay? So you've got these, are called the struts. So imagine the kites like that. The struts stop it folding in like that, yeah. okay? While the leading edge, which is this big bit here, stops it folding like that. So you've basically got a rigid, like pretty much like non-changing shape in the sky at all times. Oh, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump this thing up. I'm gonna talk through how to uh, not kill yourself when you're flying it. And then we're gonna put it in the sky. Okay, see if wakeboarders can kite. <laughs> Flip 
Rover. That's a job. Jesus Christ, Dave, you're putting on a few kilos here. It's yeah. a size large. <laughs> it's the jacket, I swear. Updating the tube, we're about a minute, no, a minute, what am I saying? We're about like an hour into it. I'm gonna say there's so much more to remember than wakeboarding, like so much more elements. You're basically learning, like what Chris was saying, you're learning how an engine works, like how the engine of the boat works to pull you wakeboarding. It's effectively what's happening, but we're getting there. Chris is a great teacher, and so we're gonna do this, and then we're getting changed into wetsuits. Pretty juicy, right? So I'm gonna give it to Dave. He's gonna do the uh, kind of gentle movement of the kite first. We're gonna launch it for Dave. <laughs> All right, feel that power? Yeah. A bit of a juicy too. Right, so two hands, nice, nice and gentle right. on the bar, okay. just cruising around. So give it a little bit of uh, yeah, and a little bit of left. Okay, in left, in left. Yeah, get more left. I push the bar up. Push the bar away. Keep it right. Keep it right. Pull it right. Uh, okay. No problem. All right. Dave's going to be doing that right now. We had some camera difficulties, but as that was happening, Chris has taught me how to kind of fly the kite. So next, apparently, you, you body drag. Just like you would up and down the cable. No board. Just body drag. Learn how to fly while it's pulling yourself. Is that it? That's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing really well. I hate to admit it, but he's doing really well. Yeah, so yeah. Walk close to the nose. Face your body the way you're going. Remember, you're not a crowd. You're not a crowd. All right. Who it left? Yeah. Yeah. Big move left. Nice and hard. Now right. Now right, 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 right. Hard right. Keep going right. Right, right. Keep going right. Now left. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. I've done it as a beginner and someone who's never done it before. I would say there's like lag. So if you pull left, it's like two seconds until it goes. Especially with the bigger the kite, the more lag there is. Okay, so the lag, if you preempt that because the start it wasn't in, like taking into, into account the lag, but once I figure that out, holy crap, it's so fun. Okay, so what Dave's gonna do now is he's gonna do his first board star, right? Half of it is the same as wakeboarding, the other half is flying a big mad kite, so. <laughs> I think he's got it. There's a 50% chance to get up first time. Okay, so that was genuinely like the best three hours ever. And to learn it, like Chris said, to learn that quick, obviously like it's just his coaching skills, but honestly, from, from the, like that was sick. So oh, that was great, fucking congratulations, so brother. Yeah. Time. No, no so fun. Uh, it was great, great. And if any of you in Ireland want to learn how to kite surf or paddleboard, or come on trips, check us out at bigstyle.ie. They do so much stuff, like they do, he, you know, like Sri Lanka and like crazy. We Sri Lanka, Tanzania, we have a hostel in the west of Ireland. We. Uh, Paddleboard the Liffey and paddleboard the islands around Dublin and we obviously teach kiting here in the bay so It's pretty sick, hit so up. yeah, hit up Big Star because it is so sick um, and just kill people which is, which is obviously <laughs> the best bit That's yeah, it. Thank you so right, much, cheers, brother. see you in a bit Welcome. Great to have you down, cool. cheers guys, I gotta go paddle the Liffey <laughs> <laughs> Alright so, it might be dark and stuff now but I just want to say like now that Chris is gone like seriously that was honestly the most epic 
like three hours I've ever done. Like you, I, I'm like addicted to it already. It's very like wakeboarding, but like so different at the same time. Um, and it's so nice to do something new. Like it's quite refreshing to kind of, like I was a bit shitting it before I went in, but it was so good. And Chris is like the coolest guy ever. Like we were just having the chats about like just other stuff. Like I don't know, just like outdoor sports and like businesses and within them and all that. And he's just like, a real like smart guy and just a genuinely good person. So, um, and we went to the same school, so yeah. Um, but yeah, just thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever get the opportunity to go kiteboarding, 10 out of 10 go, like honestly I loved it. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you soon.